Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to the God Seller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have my husband with me, uh, Brother Dan. And Brother Dan has a prophecy message that he's going to read today. He got this prophecy message on, what, April 21st? Yep. And uh, so we've been studying over it because there's a few lines in there uh, that caught our attention. So I'm in the uh, New uh, King James Version Study Bible, and I'll be in Deuteronomy 26, and I'm going to read uh, verses 7 to 10. Then we cried out to the Lord God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with out, an outstretched arm, with great terror and with signs and wonders. He has brought us up to this place and has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. And now behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which you, O oh Lord, have given me. And now you can join me in John 11, uh, 9, and 10. 9 and 10. So where are we here? Okay. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of the world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. And I want to read just one other scripture there, and that is the same, same chapter, uh, verse 25. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Brother Dan. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. Um, I have another word I want to read. Like Barbara said, we got this uh, April 21st, and uh, we were chewing over it for about a week or so. It is the humble man that shall bring forth the word of God. Shall the truth not open the eyes of the unbelievers? The wind whispers its secrets for those who listen. Shall I not seek justice for those who suffer in my name? Words spoken in truth leave no room for doubt. Weep not, my children, for I bear witness to your sufferings. It is the hand of God that shall protect you this day. Open your eyes. Can you not feel the light of my spirit? Where there is doubt, there shall be hope. Evil fears the light. For where there is light, there is truth. Shall I not reveal in spirit what is forthcoming? Do not the stars speak my will? Shall deception not be spoken for, for what it is? Shall I not prepare thee for the feast of the harvest? For my holy days shall be observed by all my children. When day turns to hours, know my time is near. What is hidden by darkness is visible in the light of day. For all is written in the tablet of life. Amen, sister. So that's a really uh, peculiar, to say the least, message uh, Brother Dan got from the Lord. Yep. And the sentence again that I was stuck on for the whole entire time was, Shall I not prepare thee for the feast of the harvest, which is coming up soon? Uh, I believe that's first fruits, Pentecost. Uh, and again, you know, I'm not really up on, on the Lord's holy days. Um, I have a general idea of them. And the other sentence was, when days turn to hours, no, my time is near. And uh, it was peculiar because in this passage of John, um, our days are not his days. Because this is what I was stuck on too. Are there not, Lord, the Lord says, and here we are in John 11, uh, verse 9, are there not 12 hours in the day? And we don't think there's 12 hours in the day. We consider 24 hours a day. So I was stuck on that also. So again, uh, we want to thank you for tuning in to God's Hiller 7 channel, and I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord uh, until September 23rd, 2015. And that means the Lord is offering a complete cancellation to your spiritual debt and a brand new beginning to anyone that responds to his message. Uh, September 23rd, 2015 falls on Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And I have a prophecy message out there uh, from back in January saying that this is what I'm to do until that date. 
So again, thank you, Brother Dan. Great message. Tune in again to God's Solar 7 channel. And remember, we are your brother and sister in Christ. If you have a need or you have a problem, feel free to send me a message. I'll pray for you. And again, thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord, sister.